It's time. How are you doing today? Look around. Could not be better. I like to call this Jiu-Jitsu Christmas. You show up here and everybody's just in a great mood. They just get to go to all the seminars. Speaking of which, you taught one earlier today. How did that go? Um, it was fantastic. I saw a lot of people make a lot of new friends. Uh, what an environment to be, man. You get what we have the best in Jiu-Jitsu over here. Do you get excited the morning of? Like, do you get excited? Like, or what is your thought process right before a seminar? Because it's something that we do since we're born, basically. It's no big deal. It's just about showing the techniques that people go home and they will have some homework to do. It will make right away some improvement on the game and also make, maybe open up their vision towards Jiu-Jitsu. And I think we have so many great instructors here today that each seminar is going to take something home and, and definitely make your Jiu-Jitsu better. Now, when you're looking at what you're going to teach that day, like, when do you decide the moves? When are, when are you coming up with that? Or when do you know, like, I want to show this move at this seminar? Like, how do you, how do you decide between that? Uh, probably five minutes before <laughs> I step in. I kind of, uh, it's, it's been doing that for such a long time. Well, I look around and see the people's face and evidently the belts, the ranking. And I want to make sure I have something that fits for everybody on the mat. But it's basically, evidently, some cool, very fancy stuffs, but I want to make sure that all levels we get something out of that seminar. It's great because we're, you know, I'm part of the Jean Jacques family and I know a lot of people who are part of the Jean Jacques affiliations, but they're looking at some of the stuff you're teaching and going, I haven't seen that, even at your own academy. So is that kind of like you want to give them nice something special when you do a seminar like that? No, that was a trick that I used to make sure when I do a, another seminar and expo, they're going to come and go. <laughs> Because hey, he might show technique that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> and I think I caught them off guard today. <laughs> Some of the stuff you're putting up online is, is just fantastic. Uh, when you're here, you know, what's the most exciting part for you? What do you get excited about other than obviously teaching a seminar? Uh, for me, it's to see family members that we don't see every day because of everyone's, in a way, busy life and distance where the, each one lives. And uh, yeah, I think it's the, the best part for me is to review some of my my family members that I don't see every day because of the distance. But uh, right here is the place to find and the whole cousins and everybody here and uh, we catch up a lot. I love that. You know what, I don't want to keep you too far away from all your family members over here, but where can people find you online? Where can they uh, catch you? I know you're Instagramming all the time. And by the way, thank you so much for doing such Instagrams because I'm trying to implement as many of those things as you're putting up. Uh, but you keep putting out stuff so fast. Um, my whole idea is to make people feel better. And if you do jiu-jitsu, it's already a huge step. And um, I never met anybody that is practice jiu-jitsu that has bad mood for 24 hours. They might have maybe a couple minutes through the day. And whenever you have a bad mood, come to the jiu-jitsu school, your mood will change very quickly. Guys, please give it up for Jean-Jacques Machado. Keep it locked here at VerbalTapCast.com for more information.